I'm James Imes, and I'm in the green room of the Haas stage at the Art and Theatre Company. Scott Greer, I'm here also. <laughs> we are playing Chloe and Ham yes. in the Arden's upcoming production of Endgame. Yes. It isn't clear exactly where they are or how they got there. Right. Um, it's a desolate place. There's nothing around. Right. There's been some kind yeah. of traumatic Earth event. In typical Beckett fashion, that's never defined. Like There's also this incredible sense that they can't go anywhere. Like they're stuck. Like they're shackled to the place. Right. And to each other. Well, I have a limp and I can't sit down, according to the stage directions. Right. And I, I am in uh, a wingback armchair that's on casters that I can't leave. Nag and Nell are like this little vaudeville act, you yes. know, and they kind of, you know, kind of pop up out of the trash yeah. can with commentary and, yes. you know, it's really very, very funny. Don't go expecting, uh, we meet these characters and they go from A to B to C. We, you kind of live with these characters. And so it's going to make it fast and furious and hilarious. Beckett really understood comedy and as I say that like there is a vaudevillian rhythm there's a lot of of very conventional sort of set up knock them down rat a tat yeah. rhythm in all in in what he says it's actually very contemporary I feel very contemporary. absolutely it could have been written yesterday it could have been written yesterday I mean, because the characters are fascinating and funny the language is you know there's no one who wrote plays like he did and the language is is as good as you will get in in theater, you know, in particular, I mean, you know, 20th century modern theater. Yeah. In spite of calamity, in spite of whatever, you, you see these men trying to live in in the best way they can yeah. in their roles, in their story. The humanity in the play is is uh, I think right in line with with what the art is doing. All great stories are kind of an examination of who we are, this is certainly that. I hope the, the, the toilet flushing in the background is in, because I think that... <laughs> Becca would like that, I think. Existential crisis. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>